Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Who's got a Raspberry Pi 4? As soon as they were released, I just went and bought one. Didn't know anything about it. It kind of came out of the blue, really. You know, it's probably a new surprise, but um, it was to me. Uh, I went and bought the maxed out one. Um, just didn't even... I just thought I might as well. Uh, had the money saying, uh, lying around. Uh, there's one thing that I've had Pies in the past. I've had up to uh, a 3A+, three, three a plus was probably the highest I went. Um, I didn't get the uh, 3B+, plus because I had a 3, and it didn't really offer that much more... Um, upgrade really I thought I thought I was waiting for this basically um, but before I never really had to use a fan uh, with one it would just it would it would get hot but it wouldn't get as hot as this this thing it just it, I was compiling something the other day and it went to about 75 degrees I had to I'd, like rig up some fan um, just to blow on it just to get it to cool down but um, I've never known anything like it it's a completely different architecture chip architecture so that's probably why but um, I thought I was gonna get a fan shim but I'm a bit of a tightwad and I wanted to add my own uh, hardware things to it so I basically designed my own. Um, if it's seen in other projects I've done is this which is a GPIO splitter. Let's say if you want to put a full size hat on your Pi um, but you also want to use the unused pins that the hat doesn't use you can use this and it basically breaks out uh, basically the, the, these pins on the side so you can just use the unused pins in, in uh, if you want to add anything extra. Whilst you're testing something out um, Bit of a niche project, uh, but you know it's uh, I, I find it quite useful. Um, but yeah, basically took the file in KiCad and added all this hardware to it. Uh, done the uh, breakout for a forty, uh, it's a forty mil uh, PC fan. Uh, there's a little JLC, JLC connector, and there's basically an on and off switch, and that's pretty much it. Because the, the other thing about the uh, fan shim is that the software runs on the Pi, which uses GPIO pins, which requires software, this is just crude, you can add to any project you want and it's just literally a fan, it just takes power and that is it. Um, I tried it in a few different orientations because as you can tell it's you're probably thinking the fan's upside down but yeah it is. Uh, I think it's not usually used to suck air off of components but I wanted to blow the air onto the uh, Pi. Uh, I did a few t scientific tests uh, running a 4k YouTube video with no fan, uh, with the fan the right way up and then the fan this way up and this come out the best with no fan it was about 50 odd degrees with this uh, this way it was under 40 um, so it made quite a big difference um, and then I also added a heat sink as well as you can see under there with some thermal paste added to it just to give it extra um, you know extra help it basically just and, the, and that fan as well just blows the air out over the entire top board you could probably take off this top um, plastic to give it a bit more airflow but it's now currently idling about 34 degrees which is which is quite nice. It is a it is a phenomenal Pi. I've been using it uh, as like a mini desktop um, in my garage here. Just you used before, you used to hesitate opening the web browser because you think, oh, it's gonna it's gonna chug it down. But it just carries on going, and you can just do anything on it. Really, it is a, a great device. Uh, as usual, uh, uh, links in the description with their blog post and their files and where to get the parts from and stuff. It is still cheaper, even if you. Even if you buy five of these boards from JLC, JLC, JLC PCB, it is still cheaper than buying a fan, uh, fan shim and you get the extra functionality um, out of it. But if you had a few mates, say five of you got together, it'd be even cheaper again because you could cover the court cost of the five PCBs. Um, but yeah, it's, you know, it works it works really well. Uh, I know if you did put a hat on here, it would uh, restrict the airflow in, but I don't think it would make too much difference. I'll have to do some more testing, but um, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.